Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Simple. I mean, that, that's why we hunt. And once you find a place that you can call home, you go there consistently. Are you kidding me? It's like, it's not even a family reunion. It's like we never left. No, no. <laughs> Hey, it's time to head to Florida. Florida, it's miserable at home. Time to go south and get a little bit of rays and some gobblers, Osceola's. With Osceola Outfitters and Uncle Hop. Hey, you know what? I mean, this is like my favorite, one of my favorite hunts this spring. Oh, I know. We you leave get the sun. snow at home, we go down there, we hunt you turkeys. You fly, we drive. Yeah, it should be one of your favorites. It, it is one of my favorites. I mean, we have so much fun going on down there. And this I'm year we had some crazy stuff day. going on with eagles and turkeys and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we've got a lot to share with you. Yes. So should we get going? Well, yeah, because if we leave now, I mean, by the time us and the guys will get there, because we're going to drive with all the slow. equipment. You guys are slow. And you That's just all. fly. I fly. That's all. But yeah, because our son was in school, I had to wait for him to get out of school for spring break. Whatever. Well, this morning we're packing up the van and Ralph, Chad, and Josh are heading down to Florida. RJ and I, RJ has school this week, so it's Wednesday and RJ and I will fly down on Friday, so it's really not that long until we get down there, so it's really not a big deal. But RJ and I, we get to fly for two hours and these guys got to drive for like 21. <laughs> did, did I tell you they were flying? Me and the boys, we, we drove. I'm not complaining. But did, did I tell you that Vicky and RJ flew? I have a three hour flight, like three full hours. What do you expect me to do? All kidding aside, we are pretty jacked. We're pretty pumped. And then after about like 10 hours, yeah. Yeah, we've had about enough. And then after 15, we're really starting to get, you know, crazy. And at about 20, cool. And then at 21, we pull into the, we pull into camp. We forget about that whole 21 hour ride. We look so forward to heading down to Florida every spring with Hoppy, the Kemper, Susan, K. Sage, I, I mean, all of them. We, we just, Mike, Jimmy, uh, just Jordan, we, we love them all, man. It's just fun. And that's what, that's what hunting has always been about for us. Long drive? Yes, sir. Long. 21 hours. What took you so long? Oh, you had the women with you. Yeah. Josh and Chad. Yeah. <laughs> With the gear unloaded and the crew settled into camp, Ralph and Hoppy check the patterns on their Browning shotguns to choose the choke that will best suit their needs for the hunt. Needless to say, they're impressed. Oh, look at that pattern. Out of the box, the Browning A5 sports a strong, lightweight aluminum alloy receiver and a barrel with a lightweight profile, making it an excellent choice for spot and stalk. With ultra-reliable feeding and cycling, the A5 also accepts a wide range of loads. Now that the guns are set for the hunt, the crew has a little fun with the Montana decoys and proves they're good for more than just attracting turkeys. Is Ralph gonna miss a turkey? How about Vicky? Will Vicky miss a turkey? So the reason, you know, I, I we drove down with the guys a little early. You know, I, you know, I'll get some hunting in it. Well, the weather wasn't cooperating. So, you know, I think I got a, a day in before you showed up, and then I figured, you know, maybe I'll, you know, I'll continue my hunt. Maybe we'll get that on camera and then start filming Vicky. And yeah, that Sounds didn't happen. Good. 
Vicky pulls up and, well, I should say, I'm sorry. Vicky flies in and uh, Hoppy goes, hey, Vic, you know, how about tomorrow morning we start taking you out? Am I supposed to say no? I just want to make sure that, you know, the outfitter, you always say don't guide the guide, so I'm, Hoppy, all up. I'm ready for tomorrow morning. Am I chopped liver? That first morning, we get up, and I mean, we're tired. You know, RJ and I, we had such a long travel day, and now I have to get up so early in the morning to go turkey hunting. So we go to a part way back on one of the ranches, and, and I mean, we're sitting there, and we could, hear, we could hear birds gobbling, and just a matter of time, because where we were, we actually, Hoppy would see, was always seeing, you know, this big old gobbler strutting in the area. So. We got set up pretty cool, and, and that's one of the cool things about being down in Florida. With all the palms and, and I mean all of the cover, you can tuck yourself in pretty good, and that's what we did. With the crew tucked in conspicuously into a tree line, the waiting game begins. It doesn't take long before movement is seen far off in the distance. As we're sitting there and we're waiting and we're looking around and waiting and starting to melt because it's starting to get hot and we can see there's a tom way down by the cattle. He, it took his time. Probably but... 600 yards away. I mean he's way down and he was taking his time and he's walking back. He hears it, don't he? He's on the couch. He's strolling this way. Mm -hmm. He's kind of going left a little bit. walking back, a hen pops out. And we're like, well, think, that's why he's Yeah, then another hen, hen remember? Yeah. Yep. So Those now, hens will always kill you. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them girls, I'm just saying. <laughs> and then, I kid you not, like, out of nowhere, this Tom, who's full strut, what, he starts, starts doing like a sideways stepping. dance. What the heck is going on? Are you kidding me? And then all of a sudden, out of the, out of the sky comes this eagle. And I mean, he just, just missed, missed taking our taking her gobbler out. Huh? Just missed it. Now on the plus side, I mean, the eagle sat there and went, dang, I missed dinner. Yeah. No turkey dinner for me. But that scared the hen. The hen came back over towards us, which then in turn brought that tom. I wonder if that eagle has a permit for turkeys. You tell me. I'll get him to pick his head. I guess yeah. I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That was <sighs> this morning. <laughs> what were the odds sitting here, you know what I mean? And the dang eagle comes after your gobbler. One in ten billion. Oh my gosh. Not but it worked because it, it pushed like... him this way and then that hen comes out and Obviously we're like, it's happening oh. a lot, Hop. Yeah. 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 Well, wow. yesterday the eagles were over there, yep. chased them. I've had that it happen was... a few times, but there's more eagles now. And I don't know if the landfill is attracting them. Probably. The that buzzards, it attracts the vultures. Yep. 
Wow. That was cool. Wow. Let's go look at your turkey. <laughs> yeah, let's go get him. How far was he, Hop? 34. <laughs> you were a good guess. Whoa. Check the, the spurs on this guy. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the spurs. I had no idea. Was it. The way he sounded, he didn't even sound old. You no, know? You, you, you said he goes, he sounds funny. He's goblin funny. Look at, Look at that. that. Look at that. Nice. That's. Whoo. Dang. There's your turkey. <laughs> See you later. Here, hold my gun for you a second because go it's going to drop. I can go home now. Oh, dang. Look at them spurs. He had looked like he was missing a feather. Oh, well, was Maybe it? No, that's a leaf. No, it's there. It just. It's there. He just. Uh, look at that. Beautiful. Pretty. Beautiful. Pretty, 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 pretty. We worked for him. Holy <sighs> cow. That was kind of... He almost lost his life to the eagle first. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that wasn't from my shot. That was the eagle. <laughs> no, Hoppy's ready. Hoppy's... Hoppy's oh, my gosh. Hop. wing. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. So if you have teenagers, you know that they like their sleeping. So RJ, we've never pushed him into getting up and hunting or, or hunting, period. So we go down to Florida and I'm done. I'm tagged out. I have my bird. We figure RJ's going to go next. Yes. Oh, yes. We you ask him, we're like, hey, RJ and you're, then me. you're up tomorrow morning. And he's like, God, yeah, I'm going to sleep in and case my we're going to the beach. Well, you know what? Teenage boys, springtime, spring Florida, 30 yeah. minutes from the beach. They're strutting, but it ain't for turkeys. So it Ralph's it's up for next. the hens. We got a bunch of birds out in front and to our left. You know, it was an awesome morning. I mean, we got in there, you could hear them gobbling from everywhere. Yeah. Knew we were in the right place, you know, just a matter of being in the right time. Yep. And uh, we had hens come, I mean, feet from us. Yeah, they were like by our feet. I'm gonna have to camp your I gun. see him. He's going to the right. Here's a hint, don't move. 10 yards. Okay. Eight yards. All of a sudden, we see this big gobbler, and he's going across the field. He turns, Hoppy fanned him, he saw it, he comes, he's coming in, and, and I'm telling you right now, when I'm ready to shoot, I'm ready to shoot. Baby. <laughs> I didn't know you were shooting. <laughs> I don't listen or wait for the guys or anyone to say. And he doesn't pre-warn us either. No, no, no. We didn't know you were shooting yet. Oh. Are you on him? Yeah, no, no, let's take him. I took, I shot, and I think a pellet might have hit him. <laughs> yeah, I sort of <laughs> choked it. And then, but, come on, quick draw McGraw. Man, I didn't let him get two more steps. and. I put him down on the ground. Like the American flag right there, ain't it? Yes, sir. The Red, colors. Red, white, and the blue. Look at that. All right, not as big as Vic's, but you know what? I got a bird. Hmm? Not as big as Vic's. Spurs? Yeah. yeah. Probably weighs more. He's got more lead in him. <laughs> Incredible, what a morning. I mean, we had them talking like crazy. 
Look at that setup. The go it worked good. The gobbling was intense. Yeah. I wish we'd have been closer to it, but this is where we needed to kill them. Oh, this is perfect, Top. Huh? Yeah, buddy. Let's take some pictures and get some, go eat some biscuits and gravy. <laughs> like a zoo here this morning. The whole crew has worked up quite an appetite. Being so close to the coast, they have something special planned for dinner. For dinner, we're having seafood. Good friends of ours, Branch and Michelle, they are going to go ahead and they brought scallops and oysters, salmon and all kinds of food. And it's awesome because all these people really enjoy the stuff. Oysters are not on my list of things I like and neither are scallops. Yeah. Oysters. Raw oysters. Yeah, I did it. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Playing dumb. His face was priceless. You don't suck it up, Buttercup. You know what? You, you decided you want to have it, you need to finish it up. Branch, Michelle, thank you guys so much for bringing that food down. It was amazing for the stuff that I liked but I am the most pickiest eater in the entire world next to my son, RJ. We all loved it, or I should, I should say, they all loved it. I'm not a big seafood guy. Well, we're pretty excited because we are heading out with the boat to do some boat fishing tonight. Sage and his buddy are gonna meet us and we're gonna go have some fun. I, I just can't, can't sit. sit. Camp, so you know what? He grabs his bow and I'm gonna like, go boat fishing. Go boat fishing. Simple. I mean, that, that's why we hunt, and that's why you go to places. And once you find a place that you can call home, you go there consistently. Every time. And you know, when we go down there, it's like, it's not even a family reunion. It's like we never left. No, you know. You know, let's just get back. This is why you hunt. Yeah. It's because of the people. The, the, I mean, the courtships, the having the fun, laughing. Camaraderie, everything. And, and that's, we're sort of losing that today. No. It's, and, everyone has to be so serious, you know, all this. No, be, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, eat oysters and puke. I mean, you can oh, do yeah. that too, but I mean, seriously. Oysters. We had, no, stop. <laughs> we had, we had, I mean, the turkey, the eagles that flew in on the turkeys. I mean, that's, that was crazy. That was insane. But then we also had fun. We went out bow fishing. We, we had a blast. Fishing. I mean, every time you go somewhere, try to take advantage of every situation you can and opportunity because that's what this is about. You know what? Life is too short. Stop it's, trying yeah. to be a model. <laughs> Stop trying to be like, you know, looking like this is supposed to be this fun. This is fun. Life is short. Enjoy it. Enjoy Thanks it. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Yep. Life is short. Life is so my. <laughs> he said it now.